I get the feeling I've been here before. Sorry, we're closed. Alicia, I'm so sorry, I, I didn't recognize you. I have to see Richard. It's kind of a bad time. There's a code red and... I know. Still in the basement. I need you to take care of it when you're finished here. No problem. And if you see Wyatt, tell him I'm looking for him. All right. If I see Wyatt, I'll tell him. So you tell us that the S.I. has the address of this salon, and you come anyway! Beryl, you shouldn't be here. They could show up at any time. I know that. Why are you here? I came to get Richard. Do you know where I can find him? Probably in the basement packing up, like everyone else. But I guess with your little memory issues, you wouldn't remember where it is. Don't provoke me. Now's not the time. I suppose no one's volunteering to stick around here. That's right. Especially not me. If you see Wyatt, tell him to come downstairs to help me. It's an urgent request. Wyatt? Yes. A thin blood who works for me. He must be helping the staff. There's a lot of stuff here that could give the SI much more than just this bar. There'd be no point in running if they could track us down. Yes, of course. And if you see Richard, could you... I'll let him know you're looking for him, as usual. Did you destroy the client files? Yes, it's done. Accounting? Uh, yeah. It's all taken care of. I've just got the suppliers and the VIP files left to do. All right. I'm gonna need a badge for the basement, too. Mm, I don't have one, so... I have to cover our tracks as much as possible. Understand? Sorry, but the SI might show up at any second. I wouldn't hang around here if I were you. We're not open for customers. We're closed. I'm not here to imbibe. I'm looking for Richard. Have you seen him? Yeah, he gave orders to the staff. And then he went to the rotunda in the back. Is there someone named Wyatt here? Yeah, but he's transferring the kind right now. He shouldn't be long. All right. So, what do we do now? How the hell should I know? We could break down the door to get her out. We don't have to. Something to keep the donors in an aggressive mood. No way. I'll figure something out. When is Wyatt supposed to be back? He shouldn't be long now. If what Mr. Dunham says is true, we've got to get out of here fast. But we can't let them get their hands on such a priceless vessel. Do you think this business about the SI is true? Are they really coming here? All right. Go to the front. When Wyatt gets here, tell him to be ready. I'll see what I can do. Uh, right the door there. seems to be blocked from inside. Oh, Leisha. I didn't expect to see you here. It 
seems like you know who I am, but I don't remember meeting you. Yeah, it's not the first time that that's happened to you. So I came here often? Oh yeah, but it's been going on three years since I saw you last. My name's Betty. I manage the salon for Dr. Dunham, sort of. Is there a problem? Why aren't you leaving? It's just that Dr. Dunham asked me to evacuate the kind, but I'm never gonna be able to do it. A highly valuable donor has holed herself up in there. But why it's supposed to take her and the others? Do you know where Dr. Dunham went? He must be doing the same thing we're doing. Getting rid of anything we don't want the SI to get their hands on. Like what, exactly? He told us to destroy the Trajax compounds. So he must be getting rid of his stuff. What are those compounds you mentioned? It's one of the doctor's inventions, a stimulant for the donors. The blood is way better with it. Everybody loves it. Do you have any idea where the doctor might have started? Oh, he leaves his stuff laying around everywhere, you know. But most of it must be in his office. It's on this floor, in the rotunda. Or in his examining room in the basement. You said that Wyatt was dealing with the vessels? I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? He's been running back and forth to get the kind to safety. I've got to get this damn vessel out before he's done. Why can't you make the vessel come out? All the commotion has pushed her over the brink. Or maybe she thinks she's being taken to the slaughterhouse? There's no way of knowing. She won't talk to us. What's the slaughterhouse? Oh, that's what the kind call the basement. That's where we take donors that have been drained by clients. Or donors that have been overused. Mr. Underwood is in charge of that. Oh, he works here now? Yes, he's in charge of the accounting, recycling the vessels. Really anything the doctor isn't interested in doing. And he's very talented, I imagine. Let's say there are a lot of deliveries, but not a lot of money coming in. If you see what I mean. I do. A blue blood. Why don't you force her to come out? I can't. She's locked in the injection room, and there's no way to open the door. And I'm not allowed to damage her. She's a vintage. I can sense that you disagree. Well, I'm supposed to deal with her, but I can't even touch her. Because she's worth too much? What does it mean when you say she's a vintage? They're the donors that have the strongest reaction to the Trajax injections. It gives their blood incredible character. A vintage. But when they don't get their dose, they can get out of control. This vessel flipped out and went totally paranoid. I see. But the SI had better not get their hands on her. Can you help me? She might listen to you. I'd heard there was a lot of compromising stuff on us here. So, I'll see what I can do. Yeah, go ahead. And clean up anything we forgot and... Yeah, I get it, Betty. I'll do it if I can, okay? Fine. All right. There's a pass on the bar that'll give you staff clearance. You're gonna need it. Thanks. Come on! You've got to get out of there. We've wasted enough time already. Is... is that you, Betty? No. It's Laisha. Get out of here! Look, I can tell you're scared, but I can help. I don't know who to believe anymore. They're all out to get me. I know they want to kill me. Who are you talking about? Them. The masters. And even those locked up in here with me, they all want me dead. No, quite the contrary. They want to keep you safe. If you stay here, you could die. I don't believe them anymore. They're gonna promise me tragics to get me to leave, but they'll give me poison instead. That's not true. I won't open the door. Leave me alone. I'm not going anywhere. Huh, music. To 
to relax the vessels. Betty was right. The vessel locked herself in. A pneumatic tube system that connects with the basement, it looks like. Richard's grand idea, injecting substances to simulate the vessel's humors. If only she'd calm down. Huh. There's gotta be something that will make her come out. Come on. Come out of there now. No, you're going to hurt me! Come on. Come out of there now. No, you're going to hurt me! If only she'd calm down. That must be how they supply the Trajacks into the injection room. Huh. There's gotta be something that will make her come out. They could get here at any Is the second convoy ready? Um, you're gonna have to wait just another minute. What? Don't tell me there's a problem. Shit! No, I'll bet he's on it. Don't worry about it. No? I don't want to be hanging around here. The SI could show up any minute now. Listen, we're just waiting on the last one. She locked herself in the injection room, but we're working on getting her out. Maybe make a couple of trips to get oh, the others to safety in the meantime. Up. How is it not Shit. done yet? With how much that fucking juice bag's worth? Well, when there's nobody else left? I won't wait around another hour. Is that clear? Obviously. Sorry, but I don't have the time. If the SI get here, we're screwed. Yes? Are you in charge of the vessels? Yes and no. I'm just in charge of moving them. Name's Wyatt. Laisha. I know, I know. I'm gonna make a few more trips, but there's still one missing. I think Betty's having a hard time getting her to come out. Where are you taking them? I'm getting them to safety. Some of them are worth tons. Okay, but before you leave, Beryl wants to see you. What? No way! Go see Beryl. Right now. I... can't. I said, go see Beryl. I've got... orders. I can't. I've got orders. He gave me an order. Who did? The doctor. Dunham gave me an order. I have to get the kind to safety. 
You saw Richard? Do you know where I can find him? In his office, downstairs. He might have left. Orders. I've already got orders. Shit. I won't get anything else out of him. Richard already forced his mind. We shouldn't stay here. I don't get why they're panicking. Empty vessels. He must be using them for something. Uh, I've been here before. Juliet and that name. Why why does that remind me of something? Hmm. But Richard says that madness isn't an illness. Richard must not be far.
October 28, 2001. Patients 211 and 216 exhibited the first signs of intense resonance increase. Both sanguines went from low resonance to a level never before achieved. <laughs> what a flavor. I must admit that even I find it hard to resist. Unfortunately, patient 211 suffered the consequences. I will continue exploring further in this direction. I feel that I am getting closer to the goal. January 27th, 2002, 2240. I thought I was close to a major breakthrough last month with the promising results from the new types of triple X chemical doses. Unfortunately, it seems I got ahead of myself. It appears that the dose of amphetamines that I gave them was too high. There must have been an error in my calculations. Patients H216, H217, H222, H225, and H226 were lost in the experiment. I must ask Wyatt to find new test subjects. All of this time spent preparing them, wasted. Oh. June 17, 2008. <laughs> Beryl and I are going to create a blood bar of a much higher quality than I thought. I will once again be able to focus on my research and oversee the work of the members of the Chantry. Beryl and his mad ideas. Ultimately, the Prince was right. The solution for hunger is in my research. If we manage to stabilize these effects in more inconspicuous containers, we will become invisible to the rest of the world. Apparently the pressure's right. Oh, there's gotta be a scanner somewhere to read these labels. There. Now nobody can use it. It's you. I've got a lot of work to do. Please excuse me. 
Boston Medical Center. Daryl's funneling bodies to them and lining his own pockets then. I'm not sure Hazel would be happy to hear she's losing money like that. It feels like something was missing. I get that you're busy, but... But you decided to interrupt me anyway. Fantastic. Wyatt isn't coming to help. A thin blood and a coward too. We're all going to be in trouble just because he's scared. He doesn't know what he's got coming. Wow. Well, hold on. Why are we all going to be in trouble? Get out of here now! What are you hiding, Beryl? You dare? You leave me no choice. This is madness. What part of out do you not understand? I'm worried you're going to make our situation worse. What is this world coming to? I'm a member of the council. What I do is no business of yours. The SI is breathing down our necks, so this concerns all of us. You think I'm not aware of that, perhaps? Then stop making us take risks just out of pride. I'm going to choose to ignore your last remark and work on finding a solution. I won't keep you any longer. <laughs> I'm not leaving until I'm sure there's no danger with whatever you and Wyatt are up to. What makes you think I could be hiding something so perilous? It must be something serious. I can sense your fear, Beryl. Wyatt flakes out on me with the SI hot on our heels, having to cover our tracks. Of course I'm a bit perturbed. So then why don't you want to tell me anything? I'm thinking it over. Now's not the time to turn down a helping hand. If I accept your help, you can't tell anyone about it. Ever. Yes, of course. I'll spare you the list of consequences, if you break your word. I can imagine. But I still think it's a bad idea. You're not the sharpest knife in the kitchen. If I let you help me, it could make matters worse. So stay out of it. Do you understand? Why don't we ask Richard for help? Oh, the more the merrier. No thank you. But he could... Do nothing at all. I already have enough problems with you on my hands. Why do you need Wyatt, if it's something so easy you can do it yourself? I didn't say it was easy. I need to find a solution and... But you haven't found one yet. It's complicated, I'll give you that. Not really. You need help, I'm here. Fine! I give up. Ah, I'll never manage to clean it all up myself. So you're saying you... No, there's no time for that. I accept your offer to help, but that doesn't mean I trust you. We'll see about that once you've gotten rid of... Just destroy it. Destroy what? You'll see.
reduced to this. You'll pay. You'll pay for what you did to us. As long as I exist, you'll remain powerless, reduced to this. Staring at the ceiling of this basement. There's no way I'll help you if I don't know who it is. Damn it. I'm not going to let myself take the fall for others' mistakes. What do you mean? It's Quentin King, that's who. Our former prince? But how? You were so eager to replace Wyatt. You got what you wanted, didn't you? Get rid of him if you want to know more. Boston Medical Center, VA Boston Healthcare System. Huh. So that's who we're selling our empty donors to. Hm, smart. Richard's injections. He doesn't want the wrong people to find them. took a dose of Trajax. Mm, better not touch that. took a dose of Trajax. Deneb Osborne, Boston, Jefferson Library. That's for the Hartford Warlocks, then. The Hunters had better not get their hands on these addresses. Sylvia Ortiz, Boston, 1 Nashua Street. We supply the prints, too, obviously. The Hunters had better not get their hands on these addresses. Wyatt. No address. Surprising. The Hunters had better not get their hands on these addresses.
You almost feel like this is a rat hideout here. But it's a discreet entrance. Pressure's right. A pneumatic tube system that connects with the basement, it looks like. Oh, if only she'd calm down. It's all right. I've got what you wanted. Trajax? Yes. Come on, we've wasted enough time already. I, I feel... It's, it's weird, I feel better, but... You got what you wanted. Now go join the others. No, I want to die now. All oh, these thoughts. You don't understand. Uh, I must not have given him enough. You got what you wanted. Now go join the others. No, I want to die now. All oh, these thoughts. You don't understand. Uh, I must not have given him enough. Sorry, but I don't have the time. If the SI get here, we're screwed. me of clouds.
a second layer of security. ways. I've got a feeling of deja vu. Like I know this story. I've heard the name Marie before. But where? Wait! Come back! wasn't real, that man wouldn't have seen her. No, not you. You don't exist either. If they hadn't seen her, they wouldn't have shot at her. You disappeared! I was doing better! Laisha, look at me. You're fine. But you have to find what you lost. No! I won't listen to you! I didn't lose anything. Huh. Richard has scrambled your brain so much that you don't even remember. What are you talking about? Who you really are, of course. I know who I am. 
Are you sure? If that's true, then tell me. Who are you looking for? I... No, it's not. Say it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's good. That's the only honest answer you can give. You don't have any idea what's going on. Because you've forgotten who you are. But you can get it back. Concentrate. You're like a jigsaw puzzle that's been broken into a thousand scattered pieces. If you don't take the time to piece yourself back together, the rest is pointless. But I don't have time! You don't have a choice. Take the time you need. Please. Give yourself a chance. You're worth it. Even if I wanted to, I, I wouldn't know where to start. I can help you. Let's start from the beginning. Try to remember. What's your name? I think... <laughs> yes? I saw a name on a patient file. I think my name is... Marie. Yes! I knew you'd remember. Welcome back, Marie. It, it's coming back to me. Let's try something else. But don't think about it too much. Trust your instincts. Say the first thing that comes to mind. Uh, all right. Who is Richard? thought he was my sire but he isn't is he Halsey's sire yes it's coming back to you you're making progress I have one last question for you you can take your time with this one who is Halsey if you're asking me that and I imagine the answer isn't what I think it is. Go on. You made me realize that Halsey was real, and I saw her with a stake through her heart. Yes. And? So, she's a Canaanite. She's no longer just a child. Yes. So, what is she now? I'm afraid I might be wrong. I, I found a file on one of Richard's patients. She was Juliet, wasn't she? That's right. You remembered. That's good. Our name was Marie. We were born in 1911 in France. Do you remember? Our parents worked at an explosives factory. That's right. Since they were too poor to pay someone to watch me, they put me in a locker during their shift. There was an accident. It took both their lives. It took them ten days to find me in the rubble. We stopped talking after that. They took me to the asylum. Yes. That's where we first met Richard. He was the night psychiatrist. I thought we'd never get out of there. They kept us locked up for ten years. <laughs> Do you remember his look when we found out we were pregnant with Juliet? I named her Juliet after her grandmother. It's a lot prettier than Halsey. I never understood why Richard called her that in her file. I wonder if he knew who the father was. We were forced to flee. Yes, in 39, when the war broke out in France. Do you remember? The Nazis came for psychiatric patients too. We, got, we found a ship that could take us to Boston. But Juliet caught typhus on the way over. That was all we could think about. Richard couldn't do anything for us. He had to embrace her in order to save her. He thought it would calm us down. No, that's not true. But Juliet's hunger was overpowering. When we went to soothe her, she drained us of our blood. I was on death's door. Richard didn't want to lose us. He 
He slit Juliet's wrist so we could drink. He saved my life. No, Marie. We died that night. And we became the child of our dead daughter. He said he wanted to help me. He uses us as a guinea pig for all of his experiments. When it goes wrong, he wipes our memory and makes us forget everything. We slumber for a few years and then reappear court, as if nothing happened. I trusted him. He's always used us, but now you know it. Again, come on. Let's go save Juliet. Oh, no, I can't be seen in this form here. Damn it! What the hell was that? Oh, Cassie! Stay calm. She had no choice. Shit, no! Fuck your protocol! Fuck those fucking monsters too! Listen to me, damn it. She just said... Richard. Halsey. Where are they taking her? What the fuck is that? Steam. The pressure must That's have gone up because of the explosion. Maybe that could help. I can't see a damn thing with all this fog. It's all right. It's stopped now. I need to go to the loading dock. We have to assess whether the structure will hold after the explosion. Oh well. All right, but we still have a process to follow. I need to record you leaving the area. Not just yet. I don't think I'm done here. Do as you like. I'll have to get by. Even without this implant. You want to come through, I have to scan your implant. Yes. What happened here? Cassie. She triggered her explosive belt. Most likely to protect us. Her death is really gonna shake everybody up. She was a good person. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Be careful until we clean up. The pipes were damaged in the blast. Okay, thanks. Cassie. Shit. Nothing to report here. You should go secure another area.
All right, I'll take care of this office. Anything of interest here? Unintelligible documents. I think it's like they were doing some kind of ritual. I'll go inspect another room. Okay. Follow me. It will take a minute. Of course.
yet. Shit! Is he conscious? 